How about we look at another special function? And that would be a step function and specifically a greatest integer function. Now, a step function is one in which might be characterized by line segments. In other words, it is a form of a piecewise function, uh, but it takes on the form of line segments, and it looks like a stair step, if you will, going up or down, uh, as the case may be. And one type of step function is what is called a greatest integer function. Now, a greatest integer function is one in which the, the um, value of f of x or y is greater than, excuse me, is the greatest integer less than or equal to x. Now, the way we designate this, we designate this with double brackets. Let me redraw that. Kind of a bracket inside of a bracket, if you will. That's how we might draw a greatest integer function. Now, let's deal with this problem here, and then we're going to jump over to the calculator, and I'll show you how to graph one of these. Let's see. A recycling company pays $5 for every full box, and that's the key that makes this a greatest integer function, that full box of newspaper. So in other words, if I go in there with a half a box, they're not going to pay me anything. If I go in there with one full box, they're going to pay me $5. If I go in there with one and a half boxes, second box is not full, they're going to pay me $5. They're not going to pay me 10 only until I get to a full box are they going to pay me an additional $5. They don't give any money for partial boxes. Draw a graph that shows the amount of money, P of X, that's our function, for the number of boxes X brought to the recycling center. Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and get us a equation. So we can say that then that P of X is equal to, so they're going to pay me $5 for every full box. So they're going to pay me $5 for every box that I bring in. And those two little bracket symbols are what we use to indicate greatest integer. So let's move over here to the calculator and I'll show you how we can use our calculator to graph such a function. Okay, so here we are, we're over at our calculator. It looks like uh, this was that piecewise function I last did. Um, I'm gonna go in here and make a few window adjustments before I put in this. Well, we know we're not gonna have to pay them any money so my x values, and I'm not going to bring in negative number of boxes, so I'm going to put my x minimum at zero, and, oh, I don't know, let's say maybe up to eight boxes, and on my y minimum, <coughs> they're not going to make me pay to bring a, box, a half a box in, so that's going to, I'm going to put x minimum, y minimum at zero, and let's see, if I brought in eight full boxes and they paid me five bucks, they're going to pay me 40, so I'm going to put Y max at 40. All right, so let's go in here to Y equal. Uh, i got to clear out what I had in here before. All right, so we said that our equation was five times the greatest integer of X. So I got five. Now, how am I going to put in this greatest integer of X? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm going to go to the math button. I'm going to move over here to number. And right here at number five, I see INT. And that is for integer. So I'm going to choose option five. And I'm going to put in X. And I'm going to close my parentheses. So they're going to pay me $5 for every box. Let's go to the graph see how this looks. Okay. Well, there you go. You can see I kind of got a stair step. 
When I get to one box, they're going to pay me $5. It's one, two, three, four, five. And they're going to continue to pay me $5 until I get to two. Now, one thing we should note here is on the left, on each of these line segments, the left side should be designated with a closed dot, and the right side should be designated with an open dot. Because once I get to two, they're going to jump up in two boxes. They're going to jump up and pay me ten, and they're going to do that now, just for fun. What if I walked in there with a one and a half boxes? How much are they going to pay me? So I should be able to go in here to the calc button, second trace, and I say, okay, well, what if I bring in one and a half boxes? How much are you going to pay me? What's Y going to equal? So I'm going to put in X equals one and a half. I'm going to hit enter. And Shazam, they tell me that they're going to pay me five. Well, what if I bring in two and three quarter boxes? I'm going to go back to the to the calc button. I'm going to choose value again this time. And I'm going to say, okay, let's say I bring in 2.75 boxes. How much are you going to pay me? What's Y going to equal? 10. Okay, so it's not going to go up until I get to the next greatest integer. And there we go. That's how we can use our graphing calculator to use the math button, go to the number, pick number five, integer, and that can allow me to graph a stair step and or greatest integer function.